Next up, Matt Cody and Blue Thunder. Barely winning the Triple Threat West series over Monster, over, Ro, Ro, over the return of Rod Schmidt and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. He's gonna start, wait no, he, wait no, that, that won't count, I mean, won't count right now. A good arena driver, and there's a lot of arena drivers. Now that head didn't count. He's gonna start his run. No one's gone for much heads. By the way, track resets every time, and he's gonna start his time. He starts his time. 15 seconds. Oh, and then, oh, he's gonna have to save it. Oh, nice save from Matt Cody and Blue Thunder. I'm gonna try to remember that name. Won the Triple Threat West series by a nose over the, over Monster Mutt, um, Rottweiler. A great, not the best run so far from from driver We've got 50 seconds left 20 seconds left on regulation and a nice wheelie oh can he save it he saves it he's gonna turn it around He's going for the monster jam back, full ramp. Gonna go for the double. Oh no, that's gonna be it. Right at the end of bonus time. I mean, right at the end of regulation. Scores are in an 18 for Matt Cody and Blue Thunder. And I reset him. Not the best run, but the next truck is ready and we'll get a roll. Next up, Chad Fortune in Soldier Fortune. He elected to go third of this year's World Finals. He's still got a few years left in him, I'll see what he'll say, but I feel like he's close to retirement. Starting his run. Right there with a nice, the nice jump and then a combo with a wheelie too. A nice wheelie for Chad Fortune. You know, I feel like, if you know, um, I feel like Chad Fortune is definitely out of his prime. You know, I feel like he started getting out of his prime about 2016. A little, a little stoppy, two wheels, a lot of two wheel skills from Chad Fortune. Back to that, he was really good and super, he almost won World Finals, t I don't know, what was it? World Finals 13, 14? Like he, had, he was in the hot seat for a while in Captain America. And then 2014, he had a great run in the top 10. 2015 wasn't that good. 2016 was probably his last good World Finals. And after that, he's just fallen off, I feel like, in terms of how good his freestyle is. 46 seconds left, 15 in regulation. Trying to get in a good I mean, he's gonna get it in bon he's gonna regulation and he goes into bonus with a backflip, a double backflip. Now he's gonna really have to pick it up if he wants to beat that score that Barry Moosauer put up earlier. Now he's really starting to pick up the speed, but hasn't gotten much air. 
Nice air. And that, but that's the last hit of the run for Chad Fortune and Avenger. Stop and the next truck is ready and we're going to go that. The scores are in now. His score was a 20, 18 in regulation, two in bonus. Or actually, no, excuse me, 19.5, 1.5 in bonus. 19.5, so our scoreboard, three trucks in, as Martin Sauer in the lead with a 25, Chad Fortune with a 19.5, and then a Blue Thunder with an 18. And we're gonna go get the next truck. Now, Brianna Mahan and Whiplash comes out for her run. You know, I feel like Brianna Mahan has really evolved. Like, 2016, she was just very inconsistent when she filled in for Medusa. And then she had her Whiplash, and she's just been on and off okay in there. Place second place in the triple, I mean, third place in the triple threat. Series West. To Monster Mart, White Rattler, and uh, Blue Thunder. But, but she, and she got third for moves like that. That was a gross stoppy a while ago. Oh no, she shut off. Maybe a harsh landing. Trying to get it refired. Clock is frozen. Okay, she refired. She refired. She was at one minute twenty seconds. Oh, what a slap wheelie! Can you save it? Yes, she can! Brianna Mahan with the great save! Oh no! Oh no, she's going over again! Can she save it? Yes, she can! No, she can't! No! She's trying, how, how is she not done? Oh, and she gyro saves it! Gyro saves it, a great save. Oh no, bicycle, saving it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's gonna be it. She went into bonus time. She was about five seconds into bonus time. Scores are in a 23 for Brianna Mahan. A one, I mean a one in bonus and a 22 in regulation. So if she could have had a good bonus, she could have grabbed the lead from Mara Musauer. But that will be it for her run. And we're going to go get to the next. Here comes a Toro Loco in, in a Toro Loco, in a Toro Loco. I mean, here comes Chuck Warner, a Toro Loco gold. This is celebrating the 15th anniversary and the 20th anniversary of, okay, that's fake, but like, I'm pretending it's the 20th anniversary of El Toro Loco and coming out. Chuck Warner coming back out of retirement as a lot of drivers are. Oh no, and, she's, and he's starting off and already ending the run. Oh my. A score of four. Not a way to, not a way to reestablish her present. I mean, your presence. And the next track's coming out from after the disappointment from Chuck Warner. After getting the lowest score possible after doing that, we're gonna go get the next.
in. Grave Digger Overcast. Celebrating the 40th anniversary of grave digging. Or actually, no, not the 40th. That's next year. Well, two years from now. It's the 38th anniversary. Coming in. Grave Digger. And Morgan Kane starting off with, I mean, ending the second hit. Oh, and he shut off. But no, no, he didn't. I think he was just riding it out a little bit. Oh no! He's gonna be able to get it back! He's in the momentum! Boom! A great save from Morgan Kane and goes fault up with a great cr cross thread. 30 seconds in. Go up and uh, get air. Morgan Kane, max speed driver for about his first four or five years of his career. 2016 switched to Grave Digger. Won a world racing championship in his first world finals with Grave Digger. And that sweet Grave Digger orange body beating out fellow, a fellow new Grave Digger member. Grave Digger had two new trucks that year. Colton left the team. That Gargano was a trade between Tom and Dennis. Colton, Tom's son from Morgan Kane. And then Adam switched from GD the Legend to Grave Digger. Sousa, like a f and big fleet of Grave Diggers that year. And Morgan Kang pulling out a good run so far into bonus time now. Not much of a wow factor yet. Ooh, into a bicycle. And he's gonna go into a backflip into a moonwalk. No, oh no, he couldn't get it back into reverse. That's gonna be it with five seconds left in bonus time. Grave Digger, your new leader with a 26. Grave Digger, Morgan Kane, 20, 23 in regulation. And Morgan Kane and Grave Digger putting up a good number 23 and a three in bonus, and that's your new leader in Grave Digger. Colt Stevens in the cool alien style truck. Doomsday coming out here for. I'm gonna pull out a dirt run. Oh no, we run through the barrier. Colt Stevens is gonna be the first to air it out for that yellow lane. He gets some sweet air to start his time. We're following up with a great combo. Colt Stevens starting up nice. Now, hitting that sideways jump. Now to comboing up over the arena pod. Oh, 30 seconds in, he's already gonna go for a backflip. This is risky. Lands it, only gets one. Now hits the cars and goes for the south side MX Hill. Now gonna go for the north side MX Hill. Huge air off of that for Colt Stevens and Doomsday. We're gonna go into a donut with a minute left, 30 seconds left in regulation. I'll go to Rano, he's gonna go for a second backflip. With 25 seconds. Oh, this could end bad. Oh, but he pulls it back. And Jai will save it. No, he can't. He had 10 seconds left in regulation. Scores are in, it's a seven to 18. We're from Tide, the first 18. 
I mean, tied for last. And we tried to go for that, stump, that elusive double backflip, but didn't get enough rotation to get the second. Got halfway through the second. Got the first, but halfway through the second. Now the next truck is ready and rearing to go out for his freestyle. Well, excuse me on that. That was actually, it was actually her who was ready to do freestyle. It's, it's Cynthia Gautier in Monster Mutt Dalmatian Ice. She's gonna go in the green lane. She's heading for that jump. Huge air! And combo wing it up. I'll go and gyro saving it. No! Oh no, she's already done. Huge air to start. Like she did the All Star Challenge. She's done. Already. Pulled back over and is gonna go back to the. That's her run. The scores are in a six for Monster Mount Dalmatian Ice. And we're getting the next Rice Kenny. And Great Clips Mohawk Warrior bringing in the Fire Edition. He brought this out only for the All Star Challenge. But he's bring it out for the world finals too. And starting his run off nice with a good combo. And Bryce Candy when he likes to do his runs, usually he plays stuff out, but it doesn't ever go his way. But this time he's just gonna let it all come to him. Not gonna play anything out, just go to the next jump and hit it. No, that's working good for him. A great combo off that. Jump a little bit of nose dive though. 30 seconds into his run. He's gonna go for the MX Hill, but doesn't get much, much air off of it. Tries to get a slap wheelie. Oh, he's going for a backflip. Oh, go, oh my gosh, she didn't even get any rotation on it. But with a minute left, he's gonna get it back. And no body panel is broken too. He got like, but he was able to use the incline of the back foot for him to catch a tire. Now, he, now he's gonna try for a back foot once again. That's it for Mohawk Warrior loses the Mohawk. With five seconds left in regulation, that's it. A 19 is the score. And not what Bryce Kenny wanted. He has had bad luck in Vegas every year since 2017. He's had decent runs, but never the runs to like win a world championship. Right now, no one is topping Morgan Kane in, with his score of 26. But the next truck, my John Zimmer in Dragon Ice. A veteran driver. First third out in shock therapy. Then went to Dragon and is gonna start his time with some nice air. And a good combo too. Oh, and to stop you a third combo. Doesn't hit the MXL, but gets some nice air. Probably some of the biggest air all night, and we're only seven trucks in. Oh, he's gonna get a front flip. A front flip for John Zimmer. No, there's been front flips done. At last year's All-Star Challenge, front flips 
with these new chassis, this new technology. Front flips are way easier with these lighter monster trucks. Now keep in mind guys, act, what, what, stuff I'm saying like that, that's all I made up. Oh, he's gonna hit another front flip! You're gonna go first person with him. Back down or on board cam. John Zimmer as he's in bonus time now. Great run in, copped out with huge air. Oh no! Can he get it? Can he get it back? Yes, he can. A great savings on two wheels. He's gonna head for the back foot ramp. And he's gonna land the backflip. And that's it, just ending. Bonus time in, or a new leader. A 28 from John Zimmer. A 24 in regulation four in bonus time. A great, great run from John Zimmer. Now, Dustin Brown. I push you. Here comes Dustin Brown in Please Monster me. Mutt. Please. Starting his time with some nice air, Dustin Brown. And one of the best. I one of some of the be, one of the best arena freestylers won the triple threat E series, edging out Tyler Menega. He's played a few steamings before, and is getting great air. I feel like if he keeps this up. I feel like if he keeps this up, um, John Zipper's not gonna have the hot seat for long. Look at this. Now they went with the arena tuning, unlike most of the, like most of the stain freestylers. So he's a little more speed, but not, he can't, doesn't have the agility to back it up. He was gonna go for a backflip. Doesn't even get any rotation on it, but lands it nonetheless. And 10 seconds left, going into, oh no, can he save it? Saves it and goes into Magnaflow bonus time. Great air. He's gonna go for the container. Oh, but he's gonna get a backflip. But it's over with 15 seconds left in his run. <coughs> what does that did not go well? Scores are in, it's another 20, it's actually 27.5. It's a 25 in regulation, 2.5 in bonus time, giving in the lead with a 27.5. I think if he had a good, if he had a better, he would have had like a 30 if he had a better bonus. Oh, our 12th truck of the 24 truck field here at Sam Boyd Stadium is Mark McDonald in El Toro Loco. Probably one of the one of the best drivers never to win a world finals championship. Uh oh. Starting off with huge air. <coughs> Going in. 
happened with a nice combo. Mark McDonald, mostly known for racing, but he can, if he wants to, he can pull out some m memorable freestyles. He just ne has never won one. Never won a championship. He's came really close. 2013, he came really close. One other year it came really close. But uh otherwise uh, an illustrious career but no world championship. You can't get <gasps> minute left in his time. Minute left in his time. Oh, and there's a double front flip! The first double front flip in Master Chef history! Oh my! What a move! And he's going into bonus time! That was in regulation! Oh my! Mark McDonald! Just run after run after run's been great! We've yet to see a bad run in a while. We're halfway in and we're having probably the best run of the night. And the best air of the night. Wow! Going for a second backflip, but that's gonna be it. This is gonna count. This won't, but this is for the fans. Oh, wow! Oh wow, and the scores are in a 35! A five in bonus time! We have a four in bonus and a 31. Regulation, definitely. This is the best run of the night by far. But I don't know if anyone can top this until we get to the big guns. Now, Neil Elliott and Max D. Gold. Oh, another one, another one of the best ever freestylers to never win a championship. Neil Elliott coming out here with some nice air and comboing up with even better air. A great combo. Neil Elliott. Now, in a couple of years, we'll be. 11 years, I mean 20 years of maximum destruction. That would be one of the, that would be probably one of the best runs. 30 seconds in, oh no! He's in trouble! And saving it. Oh wow! Saving it! What a save! Now going into a backflip. Oh no, but he can't get that back. A 14 for Neil Elliott. Probably the only reason he got the high of a score for only a minute of time was that great save. And that's going to be it for his run and we'll go get the next truck. I'm filming.
now. Here comes Cam McQueen and Norther Nightmare. The guy who pretty much invented and perfected the corkscrew. He's gonna come out definitely not at his pro probably out of his prime. But still a fan favorite got voted in by the fans to the All-Star Challenge and now in the World Finals. A, some great air. I went to a wheelie and no, he can, he can save this one. He does. He shut off though. He shut off. Oh, but he's refired. A minute 20 left. Comboing that move up. A great save, but then it shut off. That kind of ruined his momentum, but he's coming out with, with some great combinations. North or Nightmare. Putting on a great run. Now he won the 2012 Freestyle Champion. Oh, into a bicycle. Can he save it? Yes, he can. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's going for it. It leans it perfectly. And that's into bonus time. 25 seconds left. Hits the corkscrew perfectly. Wow. Cam McQueen. Now the score to beat is a 35, remember. Do slap wheelie. And that will be it. The scores are in at 31. From Northern Nightmare putting him at second. Now this is the 14th out of 24 trucks. And he's just doing all this for the fans now. Doing this for the fans and saving it, wow. And that's gonna be it for his run. Moving on to the next truck. And now Squat, I mean no, Scott Buto. <laughs> I said Squat Buto, but Scott Buto, the backflip king probably. In my opinion, the backflip king. That's either Kay McQueen who just went er, er, or Scott Buto. And he's gonna start the run with a nice hit and comboing it with another nice hit. Which is literally the exact same air time we're hearing. Both of them are the exact same height in their jumps. Getting so many. No, this is a great flowing. These first four hits have had a lot of flow. Going over the cars and then combo. Oh no, he hits that little sideways. Boop. Ah, loses a horn. Twenty is was 40 seconds of the run. He's gonna go for a first backflip. He's gonna go for his first backflip. Oh, he's gonna go for a double. Hits it perfectly. He's gonna floor for the MXL, the highest air tonight. And gets hit a front flip. They're going for a second backflip and hit that perfectly. 48 seconds left, he's hit two backflips. He's gonna go for three. Three in regular.
regulation. His record is three. He's just tied it. Oh no! 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 He's in ten seconds of bonus time, and that's it. Scores are coming in. Wow, a thirty-two from Scott B two. Now that's gonna be it for his now thirty-two. Two in bonus. Thirty in regulation from those three backflips, and he's gonna go and get ready and the next truck will come. There's gonna be th three gravedigger team four gravedigger team members in the next eight trucks. So yeah, we'll get ready for that. But here it is the first Anderson of the night, Christian Anderson. Her first world finals. She's excited, really, really excited to be here in Grave Digger Ice. She said she wanted to pick Grave Digger Ice and she 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 decided if she wanted Grave Digger Ice and Grave Digger or Grave Digger Fire and she picked Ice. Hitting a good jump and then some nice air. Looks like she's kind of starting to learn that Anderson throttle over him. But she's still in the arena, so she still kind of has like, doesn't have that yet. Wow. Okay, yeah, I can definitely tell this is Anderson throttle over right here. It's this, oh no, Christian Anderson, you know, wild here, oh no. She's hitting the MX Hill. Insane air, 45 seconds left. Hasn't hit a back for yet. 10 seconds left of regulation. Gonna go for the double, hits it! And then now he's going into Magna Flow bonus time! A great run from Kristen Anderson in her first Las Vegas trip. Come on! She won't be able to save it. It's only nine seconds of bonus. Coming in, scores coming in at 28 for Kristen Anderson. And now she'll be done with the run in the next truck. We'll get ready. Now, Corey Rummel oh, yeah. in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. I mean, not Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Why is it Monster Mutt Dalmatian? Corey Rummel and Megalodon Fire. Corey Rummel, come on out here. Now, the score to beat is a 35 for Mark McDonald. Trying to win his first Monster Jam Championship in his illustrious career. Now remember, we still have all, th all, th all three big Andersons, plus Tom Mentz, plus Charlie Parkins still to come. Oh no, and he's going over, saving it. Oh, and it's a wheelie. Somehow, trying to save it. Great save with 20. 40 seconds in and then hitting some huge air comboing it up this is not many people have hit a donut so he's gonna hit a donut with a minute left nice air Going for his first backflip of the night with 45 seconds left, 15 in bonus. Oh, that's not gonna end well. Oh, he's over. A 16 for Corey Rummel in Megalodon. Our first bad, not very good run in a while. And he will go back and park it and the next truck will come out. Now, when Monster Energy's team now when Monster Energy's team disbanded, Cody Associate 
went back to Crunchy Thing with Todd LaDuke, who's now in Captain's Curse. The 18th truck out of 24. And Todd LaDuke, two-time world champion. He was, he's one of the only drivers to, to win a back-to-back -back, um, world champion and wants to only win a freestyle and a, and a racing. Cause he went in 2014, went in the world, won himself a freestyle championship in 2015, followed it up with a 20, with a racing championship and he won in 2014 because of saves like that. Nice save. Oh no, no, he's going over. Did like a front, flip, like a front roll. I know he's doing a real front flip. Now the first one to attempt, the first one to, like in Monster Jam breaking world records earlier this year during the pandemic. He, he got the first in double forward momentum backflip. He said he might want to try that in game, so, in race, so. He's flying in the bonus time. He's been a first here this whole time. Hits a... Oh no! Goes into a stoppy. Now that's it. Not the best run from Heron. Hit a gainer, but that was it. A 26 for Call the Duke. Not the best run compared to what we usually see. Now going, this is the 18th truck going into the 19th now it's ready to come out. Now Charlie Pocketing, Grave Digger, already Already going for him, already through the, and done with the intro. Huge air for Charlie Pawkin. Oh no, he, can he save it? He can save it, what a save. Trying to win his second free throw to his lone one in 2010 with Monster Mutt. Getting invitations from a bunch of my friends. Right now, as Charlie Puck Puck and putting on a show already in his first 30 seconds, saving it. Oh no, he can't. That's gonna be it for his run. Now, welcome back, guys. It's World Finals 21 again. Now, part two, we got three trucks left. Comments already starting off his run. Thomas, three seconds in, he's already got huge air. Oh, he's gonna get a chance to save it, unlike some of the others tonight. And he does. Thomas doing just best, saving the truck. And now into a stoppy in a front flip. And another front flip. Wow. Tom Mintz really trying to win it. Mark McDonald still in the hot seat. Oh no! Who landed that? A front flip corkscrew kind of front flip. What was that? What was that? He's trying to save it. He does save it. 40 seconds left. Go for a second backflip. He's going for it. Oh no, he's actually going for a court. He's gonna have to save it. Oh, he can't, and that was it. He didn't even get the bonus time. 
He didn't even get into bonus time. Not a good run from him. A 30. I mean, a 29 from Max. I mean, a 29.5 from Max D. Now, Dennis Anderson, the icon, and Grave Digger go this farewell season. Starting off with huge air. The Anderson throttle. The ragged edge. Oh, and saving it. Wow. Wow, look at this. This cross threading. A cross thread. Come on, he's, he's gonna try to save it. Dennis won't be able to save it. With 15 seconds left, will that be enough? No, a 33 from Dennis. One, and then. And then there was one. One guy who could double down for the crowd. And then there was one guy who could double down. It was Dennis Anderson, maybe it was Ryan Anderson. We're going on board with the, our racing champion, trying to be a four-time champion. Trying to beat Mark McDonald. Not many trucks have got a full run. This course has been wild to most drivers. Oh, we shut off, and no. oh. He shut off, but he's back again. Only shut off for a few seconds, though. But I've lost his momentum. Yeah! Oh, what a save! No, he can't save it. He won't, he won't be able to save it. Wow, what a save for Ryan Anderson. Yeah! My brother over here commentating. Can Ryan save it? Ryan's trying to save it. If he saves this, it'll be his one best says He saves it! And it's a wheelie! There, the night to possibly ever 30 plus feet in the air, and that was in regulation. Oh my, Ryan Anderson, the highest stair record. And look at the hang time on that, and I'll back him into a stoppy. And he's gonna lay it to go. He gets a tr he gets a triple backflip. Oh wow, with infused five seconds left in the run. Scores are in, it's a 38. Ryan Anderson's gonna win freestyle. Wow. Now. 
Now the fun was not over for Ryan, for the encore. Yay, yay! Ryan was gonna try to get the, the elusive double front flip. Double, double, um, the double, can, the double, um, gainer backflip had been complete double backflip, but never the double front flip. He's gonna go for it. He hit a wheelie, he won't get up to speed. Oh, maybe he will. Oh no, he hit it sideways. He's gonna have to try again. Another attempt for Ryan. He's just checking his speed. It's the first double front flip ever. Wow. Now he's going to try. They're going to tune the truck a little bit. And now he's going to try the highest air ever in the monster truck. Two attempts at two world. I mean, attempt at a world record. No, he's in the stadium tuning. He's back out here. He's going for it. 107 feet. Wow. And that's going to be it for the encore. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 24 truck. We're we'll finding first star Ryan Ishin one plus the encore. We're hitting a double front flip and then 107 feet in the air. Jump. And Las Vegas. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and peace.